Now I'm going to show you about a service called Ask Your Database. Same as the name suggests, you are able to ask your database in natural language using the power of AI. As a store owner, I can ask this question. List five most popular film according to the rental count and revenue generated. And I can just click enter. This will automatically write the SQL code required and it will give me the answer. Most popular films by rental count, most popular films by total revenue. So what's happening here? Here is an example. Which customer renting the most? As a store owner, if I ask AI, then it's going to automatically write all the required SQL queries, run that across the database, return the answer, and finally respond to the owner. Similarly, if you're a customer or a user, and if you ask, where is my order, then the AI is going to create the SQL query required, run it against the database, get the answer, and respond to the user. That's what's happening here. I've partnered with Ask Your Database to create this video, where I'm going to take you through how you can connect your own database in this, create a chatbot, and integrate that in your own application. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. First, create an account in Ask Your Database. After that, go to Dashboard. There, you can create a chatbot. Let's create a name to my chatbot, present chatbot, then a description. Now you can choose the model between GPT 3.5 or 4. Then you can choose the SQL type. In this instance, I'm going to use Postgres SQL. So choosing that, I'm going to use a sample database that is Postgres SQL sample database called Pajilla. I just important that. The database is about movie rental store data. It consists of the customer information, the rental information, information about the inventory, and much more. Any Postgres SQL database will have a connection string like this, which will contain the username, the password, at the host name, that is your URL or IP address, then the port number, then the database name. So provide this information here in the connection string. That's it. After this, just click Create. Now your chatbot got created and you can see clearly here, connection successful, which means it's all working. Now I can talk to this database using natural language in this chatbot here. So here going to ask which customer renting the most. Now it's loading and it wrote the SQL query and gave me the information. Then I can ask the name of those customers. It wrote the query and here are the names. That is nice. Then I can ask what's the total payment and rental count for customer Mary Smith. And it gave me the answer here after running the SQL query. We can even visualize. So just asking this question, can you draw me a quarterly revenue growth curve of store one? So this will automatically visualize the data. And here is a visual representation based on the SQL run it did. This simplifies the process of visualizing data from SQL. Going to ask one final question, list five most common film according to rental count and revenue generated. And here is most popular films by rental count and total revenue. So when you consider this scenario, where is my order? You don't want to let other users access the order information of another user. So you are able to restrict the database if required, giving access only to the particular user. To do that, you have access control option here. So you can edit by adding the restriction, as you can see here, for the customer, customer list, for the payment, and for the rental. And you can click save to implement that restriction. Thus, you are restricting on a user basis. Finally, I want to show you an example application where Ask Your Database got integrated. So you can copy the same approach and integrate with your own application. So in your terminal, git clone, github.com, ask your database, Next.js chatbot, and then click enter. Next, navigate to the Next.js chatbot folder. There you will have a file called .env local example. I'm going to remove the example and save like this. Next, you need to provide your Ask Your Database API key and chatbot ID. API key you can generate from their website, as you can see here. And in the chatbot section, if you click the integrate chatbot, there you can find the chatbot ID. So copying that and pasting that here. Now save the file. Now in the terminal, npm install. You might need npm to install this. Then npm run dev to run the application. Now it's running in this URL. So just opening it. And here is the user interface. 
Now I can ask questions here in my chatbot. Similar way, you can integrate this Ask Your Database service in any of your application. This is just an understanding or an idea. And here is the response. This is just to give you an idea on how AI can be used to solve your complex task and increase your productivity. You can implement the same concept in any of your application or modify this based on your requirement. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.